Oh, it's Gary Rich, Rich Reviews. Have I got a film for you today? You bet your sweet ass I have. I've just watched a movie called The Night Comes For Us, Netflix. This is a Hong Kong movie with subtitles, a little bit of English. And I'm a big action movie fan, even though I don't go on about it too much on the reviews. But this is the icing on the cake. If I see a better action movie film this year, please let me know what it is. Here's the storyline. This guy who's with the triads is part of a group called the Six Seas. They look not like seeds, as in C, you know, where you, anyway. They're looking after all the triads, heroin and cocaine coming in. And if a little island in China kicks off, they send in this little firm and they take them out. That's basically how it works. So he's like a death squad. He's on an island. They've killed a load of locals because they've been stealing off the triads. And there's a little girl left. They're about to shoot her. And the main boss walks through and he's aiming the gun at her, switches the gun around and shoots the six people that are behind him, which is part of his gang. That's the start of the movie. He then takes him, takes her back. She's around about nine years old, takes her back to his uh, apartment in Hong Kong. And all his friends look after her for a while. And then basically it all kicks off. And that's his, basically as much as I can get into. And... They send in every hit squad that there is in Hong Kong to sort this bastard out. Now, he is, of course, the hero. He has another friend who I've actually seen in other movies, actually. He's been in the new Star Wars Force Awakens, and he's been in a few things. He is working for the triads now, and they used to be close friends. So basically, what you're seeing is two people that were friends are now enemies. Right, so this film, I can go on about it and... Basically, it's not that much storyline. They've got to protect the girl. I must have seen over the years, I couldn't tell you how many action movies, especially from Hong Kong, especially from China. The choreography, which is the best way to describe it, the choreography and the way they've done the shots on this is unbelievable. If you're screamish, do not watch this because uh, it's not going to be for you. If a knife goes through a throat, it goes through the throat and comes out the other side. If a hook goes into somebody's head, the hook starts to show through the forehead. This is extreme, extreme violence. But you know what? Unbelievable. I haven't seen anything like it since The Raid, which uh, is a French movie. This is a fantastic, fantastic film. And it's on Netflix. And uh, I don't know what they're doing about cinema release. <laughs> they're lucky to get a certificate for some of the stuff. But uh, it's an unmissable film. It really is. The Night Comes For Us. And uh, it's, uh, there's, well, there's so many bits I can mention. I'm going to mention one bit about the um, pool room. They go to a pool room and he takes out about 30 people. There's the butcher scene where he goes to visit a guy that owes him money. That's an unbelievable scene. There's three girls that fight. Uh, sorry, two girls who are lesbians fight against another girl. That choreography is unreal. Uh, what else? The, the scene in the apartment. Fantastic. This is a really boom, great movie. And if you get a chance to see it, you're going to love it if you're an action movie. If you're not screamish, you'll like this movie. So the night comes for us. And I'm going to give it 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. Fantastic direction. Well made. Photography. Editing. Music score. Everything. Action, you won't see a better action film this year. If you do, let me know. Please subscribe and let me know or comment and say what you think is better than this film. Right, that's me done. Uh, as I say, I handpick my movies. I don't just pick the crap that's out there. The Star is Born and what else uh, may be mainstream. I look to see what I'm going to watch. And this was one for the week. If I come up with another one, I'll be back. As for TV at the moment, I'm watching a good thing on the BBC called The Informer. Very good. Uh, with a great cast, Paddy Constantine's in it, I like him, and it's uh, the girl called Belle Powery, who is in a film which is coming out, which I reviewed, called White Boy Rick, she plays like a hillbilly in that movie, so that was the first time I've seen her, now she's playing this policeman's assistant, and uh, she's brilliant, this English girl, and you're going to love her, if you watch The Informer, you'll see what I'm talking about, it's about how they get people who have done something wrong in London, and get them to inform on the some of the other villains in the area anyway so you'll see it. it's on the bbc and if it comes to uh, american it'll be on cable i'm sure you'll get a chance to see it very good all right that's me done there's nothing else for me to mention uh, lots of good stuff coming out at the moment film wise it's the best time of year i just want you to see this movie if you're into action movies do not miss this movie all right have a great weekend and i'll speak to you all soon